An investigation is underway at University of Pennsylvania tonight after someone displayed disturbing messages on campus buildings. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Jason Martinez. I'm Sheba Russell. University leaders describe the messages as anti-Semitic. And Chris Penn says the hateful displays involved video projectors. That's right, Sheba. Tonight, the University of Pennsylvania denouncing those written messages, as you said, that were projected on some high-profile university campus buildings, some of those messages targeting the university president. They're a very polarizing topic, so I think tensions are definitely high. University of Pennsylvania students reacting to their campus buildings being used as unauthorized political billboards. I think that like when it's when I see this kind of messaging I know it's not necessarily affiliated with the university as long as everybody you know, there's not there's no violence implied in the in the speech. UPenn police are investigating who used video projectors to project several pro-Palestinian messages on three university buildings Wednesday night, including Huntsman Hall, Penn Commons, and Irvine Auditorium. At least one of the messages directly targeting UPenn President Liz McGill, who in a statement said in part the messages are vile and cowardice. She went on to say these reprehensible messages messages are an assault on our values and cause pain and fear in our Jewish community. Do you feel tension on campus? Like in certain situations, definitely. When walking down Locust Walk, um, you could, you, sometimes you feel tension. On certain days there have been protests and rallies and some of those days have been more intense. It's not clear who projected the on-campus messages, but one Instagram account called Pen Against Occupation posted pictures last night with a caption, in case you missed our light show. Earlier this week, police had to conduct safety sweeps of university buildings after anti-Semitic emails were sent threatening violence against members of Penn's Jewish community. For many Penn students, disruptions like these won't affect what goes on in the classroom and the reason they're here. I just hope that in general that we could, there could be a little bit more of coming together and putting this aside from the fact that we're all here to, to learn and grow together. And UPenn police are investigating both incidents, including the video projectors used and will take any action, Sheba, in accordance to university policy. All right, Chris, thank you. And